Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, I do have the Bubbles on my lap right here. He just heard a dog barking outside, so he's freaking out a little bit. So you might see him walking all over me during this episode. But uh, this episode, I wanted to focus on our royal triplets of Willow Creek because they are going to age up. In the last episode, you guys saw Princess Amira try to become the leader of her club, which is the kids club. So that didn't turn out very well. She didn't get a very good response from the club leader. He did not want to overthrow his position. What? What? He did not want to overthrow his position as the club leader. So we will come back to that in another episode. Maybe I'll get a chance to see that in this episode. Not quite sure yet, but the triplets of Willow Creek are the next ones to age up. Prince Kellen is not quite his time yet, so we'll get to him in another episode. But yeah, we are going to focus on the triplets of Willow Creek in this episode. So before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to follow us on social media and we will go ahead and begin today's episode. So we are of course at the Royal Palace of Willow Creek. What the heck is Queen Elena wearing? This is, what is this? That is so odd. I do not like that at all. What is she wearing? That's not even, out and it's not an outfit choice, guys. I don't know what that is. Oh, I did not mean to take screenshots. All right, so we are going to go ahead. Well, we do need to bring Princess Cora of Willow Creek here. I'm going to have Princess Cora be the one to invite everyone because I think she knows most of the kids already. So she is going to plan a social event. We are going to have a birthday party for them. I mean, they are all triplets, so it's kind of a big deal. Oh, I do want like a picture of the three of them though. Like they're just so darn cute. Maybe I'll try to get one during the party, but we are going to do a birthday party and we're going to we have three birthday sims. Looks like they're not very close with their kids, so they kind of need to work on their relationship with their kids. So we have them and then of course King uh King Edmund, no, sorry. Prince Edmund their father, King Derek their grandfather, Queen Elena their grandmother. Princess Cora, their mother. If Prince James of Brindleton Bay, Queen Nina, Prince Johan, King Jared of Brindleton Bay, Princess Lynn of Oasis Springs. Dang, there's a lot of, lots of people that we know. I guess we'll invite Queen Arya. And then we also have Queen Alice and Princess Anna. Are we gonna have room to invite everyone? King Henry, Prince Kellen, Prince, oh no we don't. Okay, who are the least important people? Queen Arya, not so much. They're not technically related to Queen Nina and King Jared, so let's see. Yeah, I probably won't invite them. Or, I mean, I was gonna say we probably don't need to invite their gr everyone in this household, like the adults in the household, because they'll all be obviously, oh my gosh, I can't speak. They'll obviously already be there, but maybe we'll just try to do that anyway, and then I won't invite King Jared and Queen Nina because they're not actually related to them. I'll invite Prince James and Prince Johan because they are friends with them, or we want them to be friends with them. So we do want to invite Princess May and Princess Amira because those are their cousins. I think that's everyone. Oh no, we can invite one more person. Why don't we just have, we'll have Queen Nina be the ones to bring the boys to the birthday party. So wow, this is going to be a full packed house. Caterer and an entertainer. We want to go all out, even though the caterers barely do anything. But we are just gonna have one cake. We don't need a cake for all three of them. That would be a lot of cake. So we are going to do this at the Royal Family of Willow Creek. And yeah, we're gonna start. So we have here, I, let's see. I do wanna get some pictures of the kids before they age up. We definitely don't have time to do paintings of them, but I want to at least just get, get some pictures of them. Maybe even just like a screenshot because I don't have too many. But, oh gosh, her eyes look really, they look a little freaky right now. I don't know why, but, oh gosh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna have her just sit on her little princess bed. And then we will have, can we have the boys also sit on their beds too? I'm just trying to get them to stand still because that does not happen very, very often. Or I could just have the boys like sit right here and then I can get pictures of them there. And then Princess Belle, we're gonna try to get a picture of you two. And hopefully someone is making the cake. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, that is an awful, awful mess. When they grow up, we'll probably just have them do that. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, I need to, I thought she was gonna sit and face us. Doesn't look like she is. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Okay, let's see. Princess Belle, can you just look at us please? You're so cute in your bed. 
Oh gosh, okay. Let's see. Are we gonna be able to get a picture of her? She's not looking at us, so it's really hard! Oh, I'm gonna have to get her to sit in those chairs like her brothers are. Okay, well, we'll have Princess Belle, we'll just put her teleport right over over here. I'm sorry, my camera controls are a little ridiculous right now because my microphone's kind of in the way, so I'm like a little bit restricted on the movement. So, okay, we have them, and then we have Prince Jack is good. Prince Jack is good, and he is sitting in the chair like he is supposed to, and all the other kids are not at all. That's fine. I got portraits of the Windenburg royal kids, just not the... Oh, I didn't get a picture of Princess May when she was a toddler, though. Shoot, I ah. wish I did. Oh my gosh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons! Oh, okay. I'm just... We're gonna, we're gonna do this real quick. There we go. That's a good one. So we have one of Prince Jack. Hopefully, Prince Louis, he's coming over here to take us... Oh my gosh, I am just... Oh, I'm everywhere right now. Bubbles! Bubbles! Oh my gosh, he is just climbing all over me. We are a mess today. Sorry, guys. We have little Prince Kellen. Look at him run! He's so cute! Just walking to the house. He's walking pretty well. I didn't even know he learned how to walk. And then we have a Princess Cora in her gorgeous custom content dress. This is one of the other ones I got. Why are you putting him down and like throwing him so far away? That's so odd. And then this is our caterer, I'm assuming. Tyrell Schmidt, he needs to go make a cake. And I don't know where he's going, but he needs to go do that. And then Prince, oh, who's this? This is Prince Johan. He looks like he's chatting away with the bear, I guess? Okay, he's having a conversation with the bear. It's a little, a little silly. And then we have Prince Louis, we have Princess May, she's doing her homework. Princess May is a pretty good kid. Like, she's really outgoing, and we wanted her to kind of be a tomboy, but her parents dress her as, like, the princess clothes. So she is a little tomboy at heart, and then she is just doing her homework at the bar. The parents are probably going to be like, all right, sweetie, you need to go move and do this somewhere else because the adults want to have our fun and go to the bar. So we'll have her move in a little bit. And then we have King Henry in his gorgeous gold coat. It's amazing. What is Prince Edmund wearing? He's wearing one of... Okay, that's, that's pretty nice. That's okay. And then we have... I don't know where Queen Alice is, but she should be here somewhere. There is Queen Elena in her party outfit. Then we have Princess Belle. She's about to sit here. I guess this is her party outfit. So I'm going to try to take a picture of her too. Even though her eyes look really, really freaky, guys. I don't know why. They look really scary. Is it just me? They look they look a little frightening. I'm not sure why. Okay. So we have a picture of her. And then... I mean, Prince Louis and Prince Jack, they look the same. Let's be honest. I just wanted some memories. I should have taken, like, portraits of them, but I'll take portraits of them as kids. I'll be sure to focus on that, too. We have Princess Amira, of course. The wild princess that she is is just dancing away. She's super confident in herself. She seems like she's having a ton of fun just by dancing. She is definitely a troublemaker, that is for sure. I was not expecting her to be at all, but she definitely is a troublemaker. It also doesn't look like our caterer is making a cake like he is supposed to. I wish you could ask the caterer to make a cake, but it doesn't look like you can. I don't know why. All right, we're gonna have the adults. They're gonna try to get a drink. So order drink, uh, order favorite drink. We'll have a bunch of them do that because that's something that we need to fulfill. So it looks like Princess May did move in time. Oh nope, never mind. She got back in. She was like, "All right, I'm not actually moving." She is just adorable. Princess Belle, can you talk to your cousin, Princess May? Share the love with her. Oh, so cute. Okay. Then you also have Princess Amira. You can hug her lovingly. And then, let's see. Oh, yep. We gotta, gotta share the love with her. Hug her. And then, let's see. How are we doing on the cake? Doesn't look like there's a cake being made at all. So we need to do that. Because that is the important part. So cook. We're going to bake a cake. And I need to watch the cake being made. Because last time... All the guests ate the cake before we even got to it. And it is not okay, guys. That is not okay. I had to bake a whole other cake and I didn't make it in time by the end of the party. Ah, and that always happens to me. It's just a lot. Where's Queen Alice? I do not see her anywhere. 
Shoot, we have a, a guest arriving? Who is this? This is... Who are you? You are no one that we know, that's for sure. You're just walking on the lot? Who are you? What? Is this the entertainer? No, it would have told me if she was the entertainer. Why? Are you just going to knock on her door? We're not going to let her in. Who is this? It just says she's an elder. She, is she just a fan? Can we... Yeah, ask her to leave. We're in the middle of a party right now. Wait! Queen Elena, aren't you supposed to be making the cake? What are you doing? Was it was the stove being used or something? Wait, what? You're supposed to be making a cake. We have two stoves. So you're you oh gosh. Why do they never want to make cakes? Is this like become a chore or something that they just don't want to do? And we're running out of time, guys. Doing it again. This is this is a lot. Okay, Prince Louis just became friends with or Prince Louis just became friends with Prince Edmund. Oh good! We became friends with his father, so they've got a good relationship going at least. And then we're gonna have Princess Belle. Who else can you talk to? What about talk to this the entertainer, which no one actually seems to be listening to the entertainer. You can talk to your cousin again, Princess Amira. Okay, guys, Queen Elena just baked the cake, and we are running out of time. We are so short on time. So she's putting the birthday candles on the cake, and then we need to have her. Put, yep, help blow out candles. We'll do it by age. So Prince Louis, he's the oldest. Oh, no! <laughs> Guys, we weren't successful! This always happens. <laughs> it's insane how much this happens. Okay, well, she is aging up Prince Louis, so there's that. And then she needs to add more birthday candles for the other kids, too. Oh, this always happens. It's ridiculous. Okay. So he is inquisitive, so I think if he's inquisitive, then he probably would want to be a whiz kid. I think that would be his aspiration. So, and then we're going to pick a trait. If he's inquisitive, probably learned a lot. He could be a genius. Yeah, he could definitely be a genius. Jeez. Okay, so he is a genius. We have Prince oh. Louis, and then we also, or Louis, oh my gosh, I keep saying that. Someone commented on the thing that, like, it's supposed to be Prince Louis. Louis, like, I guess they say that in the French yeah. countries, but like, we're not in like a French, we're not in France or anything. So I went with Prince Louis, but I now That's it's stuck right? in my head because that person said Prince Louis. So anyway, so it's Prince Louis. Um, and then we are going to, oh my gosh, Bella, stop. There's nobody here. He is just freaking out every time he hears a noise. Stop it. Stop it. He's like, okay, fine, I'll stop. Look at his eyes. He's like, oh, help me. Someone please help me. <laughs> Okay, so Princess or Queen Elena is helping get Prince Jack to blow out the candles. I don't know if you guys saw the crown she has. Just for the party crown, I made it much smaller, so it is more like a tiara. I do like that crown a lot, though. I feel like Princess Cora should have that crown. But she would inherit that crown, technically, too. So I guess we'll just keep it on Princess or Queen Elena for now. So you want to help blow out the candles why you were, you grabbed him and then you didn't go do it i don't know why go help your grandson queen elena go do it all right there we go it is so pointless to have the caterer he just made a ton of food and he came to a birthday party and he didn't even make any cakes that is an awful caterer I'm never hiring him again that is insane okay so prince jack is now going to age up i forgot what his trade is right now oh it looks like they became friends I, oh okay um, he is clingy. Alright, so if he's clingy, I don't actually know what he would be. Maybe he would be social because if he's clingy, he would like want to talk to people a lot maybe. So I'm going to make him social. Okay, so he's a social butterfly and then we will have him be, let's see if he's clingy, maybe, um, I don't know, good, loner, insider, outgoing, um, May oh, shoot, no, okay, let's have him be, I'm gonna have him be a goofball. I don't know, I don't have too many of the royal kids be goofballs, so I guess we'll try that. And then we are going to have Princess Belle age up. Oh, someone needs to put candles on this cake before somebody eats it, so please, please, Princess Cora, put candles on the cake really quickly. Stop dancing. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, what do you, what do you mean you, what? What's wrong? You need to add birthday candles to the cake. Uh, can, why can't she do that? What? What is happening? We just had Queen Elena add birthday candles, and she could do it, so why can't Princess Cora add birthday candles to the cake? Princess Elena, can you please add the birthday candle? What is happening? What is happening, guys? Why can't anyone put candles on the cake? What if we put it, like, right here? 
in the center. Ooh, there we go. Okay, add birthday candles, please. Don't know why people can't add them. There we go. All right. We're adding birthday candles, and then we're going to have her um, grab serving for Princess Belle. No, you need to help Princess Belle blow out the candles. All right, there we go. Okay, Queen Elena couldn't do it for some reason. She kept putting her down, so we have Prince Edmund who's going to help her blow out the candles. Oh, this is so, so, so cute. Oh, I'm excited to see Princess Belle age up. Yay! Princess Belle! Okay, Princess Belle aged up. So she was a charmer. She's social for sure. She is definitely a social butterfly. And she is also... I think she's just... I think she's just good. I think, honestly, like, she's just a good, sweet kid. Oh my gosh, guys, her name is Princess Belle and she has, like, the Belle dress on. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to change like her hair and everything, but like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Maybe it's more green. It looked yellow when she first came out of it, but oh my god, that is so funny. Okay, so now we're going to pick their outfits so I can actually use some more of the custom content for the kids that we have for their outfits. I really, really, really want to do a family picture too. I'm gonna definitely have to do that when they are the kids. I should have done it when they were toddlers, but I think it's fine to do it when they're kids also. So we have some, uh, I don't think I actually put it in the folder yet, but I had a bunch of custom content hair for them. I think that's Prince Johan's hair. This could be his hair. So that one, I think maybe, maybe we'll go with this. I kind of like that. Okay, so that'll be his hair. I kind of already like this for his outfit. I think this is definitely a good one. So, oh, so also this one, and that's blue. Although they are a little bit more dark blue, but I think that's fine too. Also this one, ooh, okay. And these are like everyday outfits too. Oh, that that one's just too cute. Okay, so we have, oh, this is, oh, this is his party outfit. I feel like this would be a good party outfit. Or maybe, let's see, what else do we have? That one, and then this comes in like other blues too. There's that, and then I don't know, I don't know. I think that I am going to go with, where did that bow tie one go? That one was really cute. I can't find it now. Oh, okay. I think we'll go with this then. And then I think we need, we need fancier pants. So, oh, no, these are all like, yeah, we don't want the party ones. We want the fancy ones. So go with maybe gray or the dark blue, that works too. And then some nice little shoes, there we go. Okay, so it is going to take me a while to do all of this for them. So I'm just going to show you guys. We're gonna do this real quick and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so I have picked their outfits for now. So I was planning on getting more custom content as always, but I will probably add that later on. So I'll just show you really quickly each of their outfits. This is Prince Louis. This is everyday, his formal, his athletic, his sleep time, his party outfit. And that's actually, you know what, his brother has a fancier outfit, but I'll change that later. So swimwear, oh, nope, I didn't actually, I don't think I picked his swimwear. So we'll pick something, something blue, like, that or that we'll do that one and then we have his hot weather outfit and then we have his cold weather outfit so that's Prince Louis then we have Prince Jack so we have his his everyday outfit his formal outfit athletic sleep and we have his party outfit yeah so his is a little bit fancier than his brother's and technically his brother's the heir to the throne so I think that his Outfit should probably be just as fancy, so I'll, I'll change that later. But that's his party outfit, then we have his swimwear, he looks really cool. Then we have his hot, oh, his hot weather. Did I forget to pick something for his hot weather outfit or something? If his brother's wearing this, I feel like he should have to wear it too. It's not like the best thing in the world, but I just, I don't know, I thought it was like time, not like time period appropriate, but just, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's what I picked. It's, it's, it's a little, it needs work. Maybe, maybe we'll pick something else later. I'll do that later. But yeah, so there's that, and then there's that for his cold weather outfit. 
And then Princess Belle. So I kept her hair like she had when she was a toddler, which I was really excited about. So they actually have like a hazel color eyes, which is kind of neat, like greenish hazel. So this is her everyday outfit. And then we have her formal outfit. So this is her tiara. This is very different, but I found it and I liked it. So that was really cool. I want to get more ball gown types of dresses that touch the floor because this is the same dress as her cousins have, but in a different color. So I do want to get some other ones that like actually touch the floor, but that's her formal outfit. And then we have her athletic wear, her party or her sleep wear. So that's actually like her hair when it's let down. It's very long and wavy and curly, which I have no idea where she gets her waves and curls from, but I like it anyway. So that's her party outfit. And then we have her swimwear, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. So those are the kids' outfits, and I do want them to join a club. And I guess they- Oh no, stop it! No! You are the heir to the throne. You cannot make a mess. Clean up. And your father- Oh no, you know what? Your grandfather, I think, is going to have a word with you. Can they- Can he discipline him? I don't think he can because he's not the- the, what is it, adopt as dependent or something like that. So you're going to discipline and you're going to be strict. So you're not going to do this again once your father yells at you for doing this. And then he's going to make you clean this up. So you need to do that. Prince Jack Willow, some there's some trash or something around that he's not happy about. Princess the adoption notice was adopted. Oh, okay. Do they just tell you when pets are adopted? That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, so... Oh, it looks like someone did clean the mess in front of Princess Belle's bed. Oh, we're gonna have to change their rooms, too. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we need to get... Oh, but that's such a cute bed! She has to have a different bed now. We need a kid's bed, too. They're still gonna keep their cute little kid's rooms. But so these are only toddler's beds, I guess? They are only toddler beds. Okay. So we need to get them like kids beds is this a child that's also a toddler bed dang i got a lot of toddlers beds okay so we need to get a child's bed oh i did get stuff where you can like add pillows and stuff to it we want it to be like super fancy so i guess this is i guess princess cora could have a a a queen size bed or a king size bed, whatever it is. Um, and then I like, like this kind of looks like Cinderella's carriage to me. I think that's perfect for her. That's super, super cute. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do a blue comforter. Does that need to be moved down? No, yep, all right, that's the perfect spot. And then I guess you get some pillows for them. I've never done this before, so get some pillows. Oh, that's so cool, guys. I did not know you could do that. <gasps> That's awesome! Okay, and then the boys, they're gonna need their own beds too, and we're gonna have to get rid of all these high chairs and, and the little toilet potty things for them too, so we'll get rid of those, because they are no longer needed. Oh, you know what? The kids, they have their own room. I didn't think about that. They do have their own room. Okay, so, well, should they move into there when they're teenagers, maybe? I think they could move in now. You know, I'm just gonna keep the bed here, so if any of the kids wanna sleep there, they can. So then this is going to be each of the kids' rooms, I guess, too. So uh, we have, I'm going to make this probably Prince Jack's room. I do need to change up the color scheme and update maybe some of the furniture, but that can be Prince Jack's room. This one can be Prince Louis's room, so that's a good one for him. And then we have Princess Belle's room right over here. So it's perfect, that works. We're gonna have them clean their, their spots. So Princess Belle, go clean your bed. You can uh, claim that one. And then Prince Jack, go claim your bed. And then Prince Louis, you can go claim your bed. So you are over there, claim. So yeah, I always make the heir to the throne kind of have the bigger room, which I feel like totally makes sense. Usually, the, I, I don't know if usually the oldest makes sense because I'm, I'm not an only child, but I, I do have a younger brother, but that's, I did get the bigger room, but then like my cousin growing up, they have, the, my cousins, there's three of them and the oldest one, she picked the smaller room. I guess she thought it was more cozy, but she did get to pick her room first. So I think that is a, I guess a rule of parents with siblings or whatever, but so those will be their rooms. And then we have, all right, I guess I'll have them join a club and I'm not sure if I want them to join the kids club or not. You guys can all go to work. 
And then how much longer does King Derek have left to live? He's got, um, still, oh, wow. Well, okay. Oh, I thought that's how many days he had left to live. I was like, oh my gosh. But that's how many days he has lived. So he still has a little bit of time left. Maybe not too much time, but a little bit. And Princess Cora with her adorable cold weather outfit. Oh my gosh, she's so perfect. I love her a lot. She's even like cleaning up at her own house. That's amazing. Okay, so we have them. I'm going to have the kids join a club. And I don't, I don't, can they join the kids club? Oh, okay. Well, they already did. But are you still able to, are the others able to join? They are. Okay, they're all going to join the kids club. I'm going to have them all join. And then I know it's 7 a.m. Oh, they do have school. They all have school soon, don't they? Oh, no, they don't have to go to school for two days. <gasps> cool. Okay, I'm going to have the kids invite all the other kids over. And then I guess that, like, uh, do we even have a playground for them to play on, though? <gasps> we don't have a playground for the kids. We're going to have to get that. It looks so dark and gloomy outside, guys. It's because it's raining. Oh, I don't even know if I have a spot to put a little playground for them. <gasps> Shoot. Oh no, they need some sort of play area though. We could put it in the, f wait, can anyone get in here? It, okay, yeah, they can. We're gonna put it in the front. So, cause the kids, they definitely should have their own little play area for sure. So I'm gonna do that. So we're going to, oh, nope. We're gonna add a little outdoor area for them with some little acti- what is this? The knickknack brick and brack shack. What's the point of going on vacation if you don't bring a pack of prepper uh, precious memories, huh? Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, but we want to have this little thing, the pirate ship. It's definitely good for them, so, oh, yeah, okay, there we go. So I have the pirate ship for them, and then I guess some monkey bars too, we could probably have. We can fit some monkey bars over here, or can I fit it? I can fit it in here. Perfect. That is a perfect little play area. It's a little crowded, but I think that's fine. So we'll have the player. I need to put something here. Can I put the, I can put a fountain in here. <gasps> Guys, it's so cool. Okay, we're gonna have a little fountain area for them there. It is raining outside though. I don't know how great this is gonna be to have a bunch of the kids come over, but they are over and they do need to meet the kids. And then I guess we're gonna try to talk to Princess Amira too. Maybe I will, I, I think I do have to end this episode soon. So we'll focus on that in the next episode. We'll kind of have uh, Princess Amira. I think she is going to start her own club, guys, because she is not happy. She wants to be the leader for sure. I think she would have like a like a social butterflies or like a princess group, maybe. Oh, you know what? I think she would. I think she'd have a princess group. But I also think that she would be super into boys, and I think she would want to have boys in the group too. So maybe like a, oh, you know what? Maybe like a Oh, kids just for like royal kids so we can have like some of the other kids be in the other kids club group because they would want to meet the noble kids but I think princess Amira would be like no I'm only going to associate with royals because we're like the we're the princess of the kingdom so I, I feel like princess Amira would do that but I, I don't know we'll have to see I guess so it looks like they're all playing in the rain princess Belle is upstairs. You guys need to go downstairs and play with all your friends that you just invited the, you just invited over. So go play with them and then start meeting people and talking to them too because y'all need to do that. So go ahead and who do we have here anyway? Princess Amira is here, of course. So <laughs> if we praise the kids club leader in front of her, she would be so angry. We're not gonna do that. That'd be hilarious though. We'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I love our leader. And she'd be like, I want to be the little leader. So I think that'd be really funny. Then we're gonna definitely, we want to talk to our cousins. Did we invite Princess May to the club? I don't know if we did. I don't think I've done that yet. I need to do that. In the next episode, we're also going to age up Prince Kellen. Um, also, you guys, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the episode, but our 50th episode is coming up really soon. So you guys should tell me what you want me to do for that episode. I was kind of thinking of focusing on the nobles and maybe like showing you guys each of the noble families and getting to them together or maybe doing like a profile of each of the royal families for our 50th episode and kind of like it's like giving a little more background about them or, or something like that. So let me know what you guys want. You can tell me if you like either of those ideas or if you have your own ideas, let me know that too in the comments. So please definitely do that because I think that would be a lot of fun. 
So it looks like Princess Belle, she's playing on the little ship. She wants to invite Princess Amira to play because that's her cousins, but she also wants to talk to the other kids, although it looks like they're leaving. Are they leaving? Are they going to school? No, they're not. Okay, I thought they were leaving. I don't even know if you guys can see everything. What is Princess Belle's aspirations? She, I think she just, yeah, okay. Achieve level five social skill, oh, okay. And she wants to make a BFF, okay. Her and Princess Amira didn't get along that well when they were kids, but maybe they'll get along better now. I'm not sure. She's, I mean, she's younger than her cousin, and her cousin's definitely spoiled. I think she would want to be friends with her, but I don't know how much, like, luck she's going to have with that. So we'll, we'll kind of see what they do with that. But, uh, ooh, okay, Princess Cora needs a new challenge at work. She should present suggestions. You should not demand suggestions. Okay. Well, I actually think I'm going to end this episode here, kind of with them playing, and now that they've become children, it's like, it's, everyone's growing up, all the kids are growing up. We still have like a few toddlers left, but they definitely, like, they're gonna be growing up soon, and then the king and queen still don't know how much longer they have left to last for them, but they are going to have to have Princess Cora and Prince Edmund. They're going to have to keep training to become king and queen. Because, are they on level 10? Oh, they are on level, well, at least, oh, they are on level 10. Oh, they're, like, ready to become king and queen. Because I kind of see it as, like, when they're on level 10 as politicians, or, yeah, the politician career, the activist career, then I think they're, like, ready to become the king and queen. So, they are good. They are all set. But yeah, we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to tell me what your thoughts are about our 50th episode. The 50th episode of our royal family, guys. It's going to be a huge deal. I'm so excited. And I know I have like other mini series and stuff going on, but like 50 episodes. I know that a lot of YouTubers don't really do that. So hope you guys are as excited as I am. I want to make it super special for you. So definitely let me know. Don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications and we will see you guys in the next video.